Look at that. Wow, so beautiful. No! Oh! Good morning, you guys. We made it home safely from the Disney cruise. It was pretty good. Did you enjoy the cruise? Yes. Yes. You gonna say hello? Yeah. Say hi. Can you say hello? Say hi. We're just gonna play some Jenga here. Uh, giant Jenga, right? Yeah. That's the easiest way. What we wanna do is today show you guys a little bit of the girls' um, hair routine. It's actually getting to the point that we need to take their braids out. They've loved having them, and I feel like it was just like yesterday that we actually got braids. What is it? Yeah. While they're finished building, oh, finished. while they're finished building the Jenga tower, we're gonna show you guys Badger's hair really quick and what we're seeing that uh, we need to go ahead and trim. You can see here at the roots that um, you can actually see the hair coming first, and then the braid, almost like um, you know they miss the spot braiding. But the reality, what this is is this is actually growth right here. So this is growth and then the braid is starting here. So you can see that um, this is how much her hair has grown since she's had the braids in. Look at that, wow, so beautiful. No, oh, oh no. Down. Okay, we pretty much gave up on Jenga, so. We moved on to the next best thing. We gonna install this Rubik's cube. I am trying to. I just have one move left. Y'all, y'all, look at this thing. Look at this. Literally just a couple colors off. That's it. The rest is solved. You got this, dude. You got this. Right, right, two, up, right, up, right, prime, up, prime, right, prime, up, prime, right, prime, up, right, prime. Okay. Now watch how fast he does this. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. That's crazy. That is crazy. Is that worth it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the two months of hard work is worth it? Yes. That's amazing. High five. The time has come. Who's the lucky person to get their hair unbraided first? Badger. You gonna let Badger cut her own hair? No, I'm gonna cut it. We're not going to cut my hair, no. we're going to cut the fake hair. The extensions, yeah. Okay, let's go. So, we're going to start off with unbraiding Badger's hair. I'm going to cut off the ends and then we'll unbraid. I'm going to spray as well to make sure that like the roots where it's going to be probably the hardest to like separate. Um, I'll make sure that they're like kind of like not so like tough so to make it like to be able to detangle So that the roots are gonna be the hardest to detangle whenever you're doing braids And so I'm just gonna be we're gonna have to be extremely gentle Because um, if not then uh, we can have hair loss Which is not something that we want because the whole point of these are to have it's like a protective hairstyle We want it to last for a really long time, but we also want it to protect our hair and not cause damage We're gonna cut you ready? You gonna help me? Yes. Awesome.
so we are about halfway through Barbara's done a really good job helping me she's pretty much unbraided a lot of it and then i worked on the roots making sure to like be super gentle with them so that we don't cause a lot of breakage so her hair isn't as coarse as cows in mine and so i was really worried about like hair loss or just like damage but it's not bad i'll know more once we wash her hair and kind of go like um through like the whole process of the whole treatment washing conditioning steam treatment all that um so but so far it's looking really really good what do you think i like it yeah i like it too she's liking the waves but i think i think mommy ended up buying you know those like um uh, heatless curl stuff i got one for our hair really yeah i got a shorter one and so we can try that too that's kind of cool so we'll try after we wash your hair we'll see how it looks and we may just try to like um like we'll just let it dry and see how it looks and then maybe in a couple days after that we'll do the heatless curls what do you think okay yeah 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 All right, so we got Badger in her next step of her hair process. Gina spent like all night unbraiding her hair. You're getting too long for the counter. Look how tall you're getting. So everything that we're going to be using today, I'm gonna to put the link in the description. This is one of my favorite things. It is so much easier, especially for curly hair, to wash your hair in the sink. I grew up washing my hair in the sink. Um, I, I mean, sometimes it takes me like a whole hour to go like be able to wash and detangle my hair in the shower um, And so and a lot of it you're just standing there. I feel like just naked like <laughs> Combing through your hair and so it's a lot easier at least for me uh, To be able to like wash my hair in the sink and wash my girls hair in the sink Too hot? No. Your daughter's hair has been in braids for a really long time for a few weeks and so you're gonna wanna make sure that you clarify really, really well your child's hair because you've been putting products, you've been putting oil in their hair about a couple times a week. And so you're gonna wanna make sure that you really cleanse their hair. And cleansing is not just great for like the actual hair, but their scalp as well, because then that's how your hair is able to grow, is making sure that your scalp is really clean and um, cleansed. We have to sit underneath the steamer for a little bit and so I was going to do like a little protein hair mask. Before? Like right on top of it and then you just sit underneath there so you can like put on your tablet. Thank you. Well you're just going to sit for a little bit and you can relax. I'll go get the hair mask. Okay. Her hair does not look bad at all. Is it like an actual face mask? It's like a hair mask. So do you use like a product and then you just make it? Like a mask around it? No, you put it on there and it just sits on your hair. Oh. You don't have to wash it out or you, you do have to. What do you think? I think you don't. You really think you're just gonna sit and walk around, just go everywhere forever like this? You know what, you said it would absorb the nutrients. I thought it absorbed the whole thing. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, so you have to wash it? Yeah. So this is my favorite steamer. We've had it for years now. I feel like two or three years. I got to a curly hair specialist since I decided to go natural myself. And one of the things that she said was like best for curly hair, for like all curly hair is moisture. And so I don't know if you've ever noticed, like if you have curly hair, how your hair will just thrive better in like humid areas. And like this kind of recreates that. 
and so I'm gonna show you this is I'll put the link to this as well in the description um, I love it and it's really easy it's also does have like a attachment for uh, a face like a face steamer but I don't really use it but I probably should I probably should then you put on this part right here you do have to add water really slowly it's so slow <laughs> but it's totally worth it So if you can, always use like a microfiber towel. I will link some of these, the ones that we like um, as well. It's really good um, for hair, but it also just helps where it dries the hair without damaging it or making it frizzy. Especially for curly hair, like microfiber towels are like the best. Is it wet? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you don't like wetness here. Perfect. Better? Mm-hmm. For the hair mask or the deep con uh, conditioning, this is the one that I use. I really like it because I used it on my hair and I felt like it really helped with my hair. I felt like my hair was really softer, um, a lot more manageable. Um, and then especially afterwards, I noticed like a, a huge difference afterwards. So right now I'm just gonna put some leave-in conditioner um, and then I'm also going to just blow dry and style it and then we'll be good. And the badger will be done. I know you're so over this, aren't you? 